systems I got on here. What do we got? We got the arcade. We got the Atari 2600. Atari 5200. Atari 7800. Atari Linux? Is that what it's called? Family computer. Go back this way. You got Game Boy. Game Boy Advance. Game Boy Color. And television. Nintendo 64. Neo Geo. Sega Genesis. Sega Game Gear. Sega CD. Sega 32X. PlayStation. NES. Sega Master System. Sega SG-1000. Super Famcom. Turbo Graphics 16. Virtual Boy Wander Swan Color Turbo Graphics 16 CD and you got the Super NES. So those are all the systems I have on this modded Sega Genesis with 9,000 games. Hopefully most of them work. I know sometimes with these modded systems um, a lot of games might not work especially for where's it at? N64. So Let's start off with some of the um, arcades. Go to the arcade, and they are all organized from A to Z on most of them. So we'll go to uh, go to this one. Try uh, 64th Street. You guys remember that? I don't. So let's go to it. Let's see if it works. Gonna load a little bit. All right. Now I know with some of these, the screen size might be a little like weird. I can always adjust that in the in the, so the settings of the retro arc. I believe that's what this is with. Let me just fast forward through this. Who should I be? Should I be Rick or Alan? I'm gonna be Rick. Gotta be the dude with the mustache. Boom. All right, another uh, one of those fighting games. Looks like I'm in New York. Look at these guys. Ugh. I notice every time I punch, you can see the money symbols on the bottom for my coins. So that's that's kind of annoying. I might be able to fix that somehow with the uh, the controls. Oops. Boom. Kicking my ass. Yeah, I want to spend too much time on this. So, we want to do what I can do is just push start twice and then I can exit out. There's a lot of arcade games on here. Got a whole bunch. Now I picked this up on eBay. Now I know you can actually mod these yourself uh, with your computer and, and all that stuff, but the computer I have is really old and I can't really do nothing with it actually. So I just figured I, I would just buy one and save myself the trouble of going through that headache, play some Game Boy Color, going through that headache and I'll just buy one from someone who's already set it all up. So. Let's see, let's go to, let's go to F. What do we got? Game Boy Color Games. Let me try one out for you guys real quick. Let's see. Hoops. <laughs> um, do the Mary Kate and Ashley, we could do that. I don't wanna do that. You got the Blitz, you guys remember that? I never had a uh, Nintendo Game uh, Game Boy Color growing up, so this is a lot of a lot of games on here. It's I got all the time in the world with this quarantine going on. Things are starting to come go back to normal now, so that's that's good. Let me hurry up and pick a game already. Let's see. Let's go to um. Yeah, there's so many to choose from. I don't know which one to do. Let me do some Spongebob. Let me try some Spongebob. I didn't even know they made Spongebob for the Game Boy Color. But, like I said, oh, you can see right here how 
how it's really zoomed in. I can always either fix that in the settings or I can just fix it with my remote here. Let me go ahead and change the picture size to 4.3, there we go. Helps a lot, boom, push start. Skip through all that. All right, I'm blowing bubbles, what happened? I'm using a Super Nintendo controller, by the way. Now, this is on the Sega Genesis Mini. How do I jump? I guess I don't jump. Can I even end the game? That's it? Oh, shit. All right, I'm done. I'm done with this one. Let's go to something else. But yeah, like I was saying, Sega Genesis, it comes with two, um, you know, Sega Genesis controllers, just the three button ones, but I have the Vil Ross controllers. I have like five retro controllers um, for the system. I had to buy that separately. It's like a third party controller. So now let's go into some Nintendo 64 because a lot of the games, let me change the screen size real quick. One second, let me go back to the, um, let me go to 16.9, there we go. Get back here, let me go to 10.064. I know a lot of these games might not work. Some of them will, from what I heard. I would try Goldeneye, but I already, I already did, and it's, it's, it's bad. Um, here, I'll, I'll just show you what I mean. Try to skip through all this. But yeah, I gotta set the controls up somehow, because, like, the controller I'm using now, I can push select or a few other buttons, which is start, but like I said before, if I push start twice, it takes me back to the main menu. So let me just scroll through all this. This is the top button with the, this is L, the L trigger with the Super NES controller. Now, I don't think this game is playable on the, the, um, the Retro Pi systems, but like I said, this is a Sega Genesis Mini but it's modded, so it's probably really not going to work. Skip through that. It's been a long time since I played this. Wow, I'm surprised I can even move. I didn't have to plug my uh, Nintendo 64 controller in. Oh shit. I might have to though in order to play this. You see, keep going down. And it's all, it's all fucked up on the bottom. Shit. How do I shoot? Look at that top right corner, it's all screwed up. Oh fuck, I'm getting dizzy. I'm getting out of here. Yeah, I should have plugged the uh, Nintendo 64 controller in, but I just figured I would just show you that real quick, because, yeah, some of them aren't playable. And I was excited, which is annoying, with, where's the, where's the W at? I was excited because they had the wrestling games on here. I remember playing WCW Nitro, which isn't that great. Mayhem, it's a little, it's probably one of the better WCW games. Backstage is all, it's terrible. I don't even think that works on here, which, you know, I don't even care. Um, WCW versus NWO World Tour, tried to play that, wouldn't work. Revenge. Um, I, th I think it works, but it's just, I mean, it doesn't work. You can just hear it. There's no screen at all, so that's annoying. But what's cool, though, is all the WWF games down here, I believe they they work, so that's that's cool. But I'll go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. Um, so, yeah, but, so that's kind of annoying with the WCW games, but I'll go to uh, Revenge, and then I'll, and you'll see for yourself what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's just a blank screen. It's nothing. 
you can maybe hear the background, but that's about it. So, but what do you expect? It's a tiny, it's like a Genesis Mini. Now, go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and exit out and get out of here. Uh, let's see what works on the Nintendo 64. Um, Mayhem works. I'll show you guys Mayhem. Now, I had the Mayhem on the PlayStation One. I'm not sure how well I'm gonna do because, like I said, I have the Super Nintendo controller plugged into the USB Mini. So, Let's see if it works. All right. Yeah, I can't like move or do nothing. Hold on, let me let me see. Go down. Alright, let me let me plug in the Nintendo 64 controller one second. Okay. Well, I'm not playing. It's it's going by itself, as you can see. It's the demo, but I got the controller to work. So let me try to exit out of here. There we go. So I never had a Nintendo 64 growing up, and this controller is huge. I remember playing it at my friend's house because. I had the PlayStation, he had the Nintendo 64, what do I do, nope, nope, Ugh. go to medium, oh, there we go, gotta push the top left trigger, oh man, just like the old days, I'm gonna be Sting. Please wait. Check out that crowd. Look at that crowd. On their feet, chanting or not chanting at this beautiful fall brawl pay per view with Sting coming out. What is going on? <laughs> the shadow was like weird when he was getting in the ring. Check out that pyro. Look at that pyro. Man. Back in the day, I thought these graphics were the shit. I was like, man, this is so realistic. And now, when you play it like 20 years later, you're like, wow. It's not too bad. <laughs> Alright, hold on. Let me try to play a little bit. Oh, fuck. I don't know any of the controls on this. And I don't know why I put it on medium, because they're not going to give me a chance to do anything. See, I, have, I can't do shit. Oh, there we go. I got. I did something. Oh, there we go. Come on, let's win. Let's win right now. All right, let me back up. How do I punch? There we go. Let me get a chair. Shit. All right, thanks. Thanks for helping me out. How do I get out? All right. Kick me out of the ring or something. I can't get out. How do I get out? One, two, three, four, five. I'm pushing everything. There we go. Thanks. I was pushing everything. All right, how do I pick this up? Fuck. God damn it. Power bomb your ass. Yeah. Oh my, that must 
must have done some serious damage. Alright, I'm gonna lose, so I'm just gonna exit out of the game before I get counted out. But as you saw, that game worked, so that's pretty cool. Um I'll show you guys. Uh, I'll show you guys No Mercy. That is a really good game. People still play that to this day um, on the computer. They have like these weird modded things or something where they still actually put people that are on WWE now on the roster into the game. So it's, it's real cool the stuff that they do with this game. And there is talks that AEW might be releasing a um, their first video game on like PS4 or something and. They want it to be similar to the WWF No Mercy, so that would be really cool if they did that. Let me play real quick, a few more minutes. No more, no rumble packs, you don't need any of that stuff. I'll, uh, I'll just do a random Royal Rumble. Sure. Um... That. There we go. We got Royal Rumble. Whatever. Look at that. Look at those graphics. Check that out. Who should I be? This was uh, one of the best days of WWE. Oh, you guys remember Right to Censor? Oh, I used to hate them. Uh, let me go back. I'm probably not going to be any of these people. Oh, yeah. You guys remember, uh, what was her name? The cat? Isn't it supposed to say their name on the bottom? It doesn't say nothing. It's just green. Or is it supposed to do that? I don't know. I'll pick Triple H. Uh, I'll be Stone Cold. Or, I think I picked the CPU, so... Oh, I'll be the Undertaker then. And then. Wait, I'm not even paying attention to the side. I'm just gonna pick random people. There. <laughs> See if this even runs correctly. It should. Alright, if I start, whoops. Is it supposed to do that? I'm not sure if it's supposed to do that. No, I don't think it's supposed to do that. <laughs> I mean, it, it, entrance isn't that great with the little blinking, the blinking intro of, of their name. So that's kind of a bummer. But we'll, uh, we'll we'll see when the game starts. Let me just kind of kind of skip all this. Let me just. All right. Now let's see if the game. Who am I again? I forget who I am. No, I guess I'm the other taker. Right? Oh, God, I don't know any of the controls. Are there. I mean, it's not like moving too slow. I don't know what I'm doing. How do I hit? <laughs> yeah. Throw his ass out of the way. Alright, I'm just going to exit out of this as well. Um, let's, let's play something else. I'll play uh, a few more games and then um, I'll end the video. I'm just showing you guys. I mean, I'm excited that I got this. Sega Genesis modded mini system um, with 9,000 games on it with all these different systems on it, so. Go to F. Oh, I'm gonna back up. Let's play some, well, let's play some PlayStation games. 
I can go to it. There we go. I don't have as many on the PlayStation. There's only a few. So let's go through the A, A to O. I'm gonna need to plug in my PlayStation controller probably. Let's play Driver 2. No, I don't remember ever having that game when I was younger. Alright, I plugged my... PS1 controller in the USB. All right, now let's see. Let's see if it runs okay. I'm gonna pop your neck with my hands. Not bad. You'll wish you never met me. Yeah. Uh, to some gameplay. I'll go to load game. I don't know if it's going to load anything. I... Yeah, I didn't think so. I just wanted to see if it'd do anything. All right, let's go to Undercover. Go to a new game. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me try to skip all this. How about them loading times, huh? You guys remember that back in the day? Loading, loading, loading. It's not as bad anymore. We've come a pretty, pretty long way. Look at the graphics on that wall. Huh? Looks like uh, we got Minecraft. Action. I found our witness, blocks. and he's real jumpy. Pixelated Get ready to blocks. make a move. Get your butt over here before he blows. But this was so realistic back then. There we go. We got first person mode. My feet are like in the map. How do I get over there? Where am I going? There we go. Oh, oh yeah, I gotta use both. There we go. I really don't know what I'm supposed to do. I'll have to, uh, play this later. I'm just gonna drive around. Oh, people actually move out of the way. Exit out. That run pretty good. We got all the Final Fantasies are on here pretty much. I can't. It's kind of annoying sometimes with the controller because I have the PlayStation 1 controller plugged in, but now on the main screen, I can't move it left or right, so I gotta unplug the controller and then plug like a different one in for it to move. Also, when I go to a game, I can also save my progress anywhere, but I also noticed with um, the person that set this up, like I was trying to talk to him as much as I could on, on eBay, but some of the games that didn't work, he said he would send me like a new hard drive, blah, 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 and then I ended up looking 
you know, I waited a couple of days, I was going to message him again. And then I noticed that his eBay account was like removed or something. So he either was posting too many things or maybe he just got rid of his account or something. I don't know. It's not just, a, just because like what I bought from him or whatever, trying to scam me or anything. Cause there's a lot of awesome games on here and half, pretty much most of them work. And he had a lot of good reviews. That's why I bought off of him. I think eBay might've just took him off or something, but let's go to uh crash bandicoot too. But yeah, like when you're in the game, you can hold down start and then you can kind of change the settings from the retro arc setting, which I'm not really familiar with. I'm gonna have to get used to it. Um, it doesn't seem too hard. But I noticed with some controllers, when I hold down start and sometimes I can't move anything else, I gotta plug in like a different controller in order for me to like do anything. I'll show you in a second. Just let me get in the game first. He's itching, itching his head. Or am I doing that? No, I don't think I'm doing that. Trying to skip it. There we go. <laughs> I never really... I think I played this once when I was younger. Um, I know Crash Bandicoot's really popular. I just... I never really had it growing up. Played it like one time. I think I rented it from Blockbuster. You guys remember that? Blockbuster? Where the fuck am I? Let me get out of here. Oh, I gotta go this way probably. There we, go. there we go. And I died right away. That shows you that, you know, I haven't really played this. <laughs> Even though it probably said, like, oh you know, yeah, it said Nitro on it. Yeah, I'm supposed to get this, right? see why this game is real popular. I mean, I've only played it for a few minutes and it's already, I can tell I'm gonna like it. It's fun. Fucking blowing up and shit. But yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna hold down start for three seconds and I'll show you what I mean when I'm, when I try to save it. It's like one, two, three, four, and then it'll take me to the, oh, hold on, let me do it again. I'm gonna push hard enough. think. Um, let me try it again. Oh, okay, I had to push select. I'm using a Super NES controller, so they're all kind of weird. Alright, so it works on here. Um, the whole setup in the background, I, I didn't do any of this. It was already, like I said, I bought it modded already. So all this stuff is... Um, I already like this, but if, if you know how to like set everything up correctly, I guess, um, please let me know in the comments below and yeah, help me out here. Cause I'm still getting used to this retro arc layout, but yeah, you can save your game here. I'm surprised it's letting me move. Cause if I, if I plug in a Sega Genesis controller, even though it is a Sega Genesis mini console that's modded. When I push start, when I hold down start, it just it takes me to the screen, but it doesn't do anything. Like, it won't let me move or nothing. And I can't even exit out of the game. I literally have to turn the system off. But All right, guys, that is it for this 9,000 games uh, modded Sega Genesis that I have. Um, if you guys like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you have any advice for me, um, leave a comment below. I am looking into buying a 
uh, what is it? A retro pie? It's it's not a retro pie. It's called a. Let me see. Let me go to it real quick. I forgot the name of it before I end this video. I have it saved on eBay. It's a. Um, where is it? It's an Odroid XU4. It's supposed to be a little bit better than the RetroPie. The next one I plan on getting is going to have like 20,000 games on it. And it has like hacks and all these other cool like themes and stuff like that. It looks really cool. I'm thinking about getting it, but it's kind of pricey. So I might, I might wait a while. But yeah, I'm going to have a lot of fun with this. Sega Genesis Mini I have on here, especially with the Super Nintendo games on here. There's so many good ones here. I haven't even showed you. Let me show you. Let's see. Let me get out of here real quick. And before I end the video, I will show you one Super Nintendo game because this video is dragging. Let me go to the main menu. I had a Sega Genesis growing up. And it pretty much has every Sega Genesis game that I had. I didn't have that many, but like now I have all of them, so this is awesome. I had the Genesis growing up, so now I got like... I got all of them! I'm so happy. This is a lot of fun here. Let's see. Here's just an example of some of the Super NES. Let's go to... You guys want to place... Or you guys want to? Sh I'll show you some Earthworm Jim. You got some Earthworm Jim one, and then you got two. I'm gonna play Earthworm Jim two. End it with Earthworm Jim two is perfect. This might bring back some nostalgia. Just looking at the intro right there. Pretty much the the arcade, besides like the controls sometimes, but the Sega Genesis, Super Nintendo, original Nintendo, all the games run nice and smooth. That's mainly why I got this though. The old old retro style games I had growing up. I'm a little rusty, sorry. It take me a while. Remember this part? I always thought <laughs> I always thought this was a weird level or you know a section of the game. I also have the what was it Earthworm 64 on here, but um it's okay. I have to play, I have to play it. Um, only played it for like a few minutes. it all right guys that's it for this video just showing you guys my new modded Sega Genesis mini with 9,000 games on it with all the different systems you got the arcade NES PlayStation Nintendo 64 all that cool stuff like I said before leave a comment below on any Like I said before, leave a comment below on what you think of this system, what I should do in the RetroArc dashboard to make things better with like the controls um, with the system. And also, what do you think on the... Uh, I always forget the name of it. What do you guys think? 
of the the Odroid XU4. Do you guys have one? Is it amazing? What's the deal? Because I'm planning on getting one in the future pretty soon. So watch out for that video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Um, also hit the notification bell. You'll get notified when I upload a video. So keep an eye out for that video that will be happening eventually in the future. I will buy one of those. But yeah. Other than that, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys later.